Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Weekly Crop. This week we're talking about a very brand new product from Profoto. It is the Profoto Connect, this little gadget thing on the top of the camera. Uh, and it is designed for the folks like you, if you uh, have never heard of Profoto, if you don't do any strobe photography, because they wanted to find a product that got people out of natural light and into using strobe photography. And a lot of the barriers has always been uh, the complication that it seems and all the complexity around doing strobe photography. So with me here, I've got uh, Anthony Chang from our commercial sales department. Anthony is a very accomplished photographer and very used to strobe photography. He's had a little bit of time to spend with this and he's, we're gonna talk about your experience with this, what it can do, what it can't do, um, and uh, all the other kind of add-ons with it. So um, talk to me about this product. What is this? So the Profoto Connect is a new trigger from Profoto. It's meant to simplify the lighting experience for anyone that's not super confident in their ability to get into manual adjustment, being able to play with lighting ratios. This is a full automatic trigger. Uh, it does have the ability to shoot in manual. Uh, this trigger is extremely simplified, as you can tell. It is just a small, tiny little trigger as opposed to the Profoto Air. There's no actual real buttons you can see on it, just a little switch at the top that says off, auto, and manual. So. This thing is just meant for anyone that's just starting out in lighting and has gotten their hands on any Profoto equipment and wants to try off-camera flash. Now I know that with a lot of you know transmitters, you know other transmitters when you get a, a regular one, there's just a lot of dials on it. There's yep. a lot of uh, readouts. Um, you've got to make power decisions, um, and it can be really complicated. So in what ways does this, other than just removing all of that, and that, what, what are some of the ways that it makes it uncomplicated to someone who's never done strobe photography before? So besides the super simple design, it's really just meant for a run and gun situation. You can put it on your camera and just trust the camera will use its own metering system and manage to get a good exposure with very little fuss. Right. So the whole idea is you have a flash off camera way off to the side somewhere and you don't have the time to adjust the power manually and you can just use this put it on full auto, it's using TTL, so you do have to buy either a Canon specific, Nikon specific, Sony specific model, and it will use the TTL system with the camera and meter the flash yeah. and get you the right exposure pretty much all the time. Yeah, and the, for, for folks who aren't familiar with TTL, basically what it does is it sends off a small micro flash first, it meters off of that, and then adjusts its lighting for the exposure you set in your camera, so yep. you get that perfect exposure every single time. So you don't actually even have to think about like, oh, you know, I've got to go out and meter my flash and then come back and set my camera. It will do it all for you. Now, um, the way that you can adjust a lot of the power settings can be done in an app. Now, the, there's a good and a bad here. The good is uh, iPhone 7 and above, it's a great app um, that uh, is fully textual and very simple and easy to use to adjust the power settings on your lights. The downside, of course, is it's only iPhone 7 and above right now. They are promising an Android version. Yeah, they in, are. In the future. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but that's, they're not, it's not going to be an immediate release. It's going to be down the road. So this is, the app's really only open to people right now that have an iPhone 7 or above. Um, you can still use this without the app. You just can't control the power settings. Is that correct? You, you can. So right yeah. off the box, or right out of the box, it can still be used full auto. It'll just be set to channel one group A. Yeah. So as long as your lights are set to channel one group A, you'll mm -hmm. still get full TTL out of the box, but you just won't get any of the extra control that you get through the app. Right, right. And now I know that they have intended it to kind of uh, operate kind of hand in hand with their A series, so yes. their Speedlight A series. Um, and so rough cost, what's the cost on something like this? About 1299 retail. Right. So, um, you know, maybe if you're just starting with strobe photography, maybe you just want to rent one of these. Um, because the other thing in terms of if you don't want to like commit to buying something yet, the other thing too is if you just have a bunch of the A series lights, um, then you could have like five of these, but they're all going to go off at the same time, obviously. And they're not, you're not going to be able to change the power settings on each individual one, which means that to get sort of contrast ratios is, is basically impossible because it's going to, through the TTL, it's going to outsmart you every time you try to gel it or move it further or closer away from your subject. So the workaround 
for this is by going with one of their B series lights. Um, so we've got the B10 here, which is a Bluetooth device. Um, and there'll be a separate setting in the app just to control this light. Now, this light's a lot more expensive. This is about it over $2,000 for this guy. Yes, it is. Pro Photo's thinking, especially if you're just getting into the game, to the strobe game, that you're just gonna rent this. Uh, you're likely not going to, to buy this. Um, but it's a great opportunity. You know, what the best thing that a lot of photographers suggest is, you know, when asked, oh, like, how do I light a, a face? How do I light a person? How do I light this scene? And most photographers that I talk to who do a lot of strobe photography say, uh, one light. Just yep. learn with one light. If you can learn with one light and just move that light all around a person, up, down, around, you really get a sense of how light shapes somebody and shapes a face and all this sort of thing. And so I think what they're saying is, let's start with the one light. Let's get you into strobe photography in the least intimidating way possible. Yep. Um, allow you to learn how light moves. So you're not, you know, it's going to park somebody by a window now. You can actually move where that window light is coming from effectively. And then once you're like, okay, I think I've harnessed that. I think I got that one light jammed down. And now I'll go and I'll rent a, you know, a B10 or something like that and start incorporating contrast ratios and learning about multiple sources and yep. things like that. That's it. Thanks so much, Anthony, Perfect. for spending some time with the product. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you have any questions about the product, please come visit us here in VizTech. Uh, give us a call at one of our stores or visit us online at viztech.ca. And as always as well, please subscribe to our channel. Find us on all the YouTubes and the, well, we only really in one place in the YouTube. You've already <laughs> found it. You're here. Uh, but the Instagrams and the Facebooks and all that. And that's it for us. Thanks so much for watching. Happy shooting. Take it easy.